hi guys sunmonani ikamalam abongilengoya and welcome to my channel so i am a computer science student studying at the university of cape town and this channel is all about my experience with that so if you like the sound of that please like this video keep on watching and do leave a nice comment thank you so on today's video is all about how to get into the computer science um, program at uct i'll be sharing my experience one i'll be sharing my application process i'll be sharing my advices and the subjects that the computer science has so keep on watching yeah and let's get into it So just a disclaimer, I'm just sharing um, my experience when I was applying for this program at UCT. Now, firstly, the first thing that I noticed was that computer science is actually offered in two faculties, right? So the first faculty is commerce and then the other one is science faculty. So I chose the science faculty simply because my second major, I wanted it to become um, physics, right? So you might be wondering what's the difference between these um, two faculties? I'm sorry guys for the inconsistent lighting um the weather is just doing something else anyways um i was just saying um you might be wondering what's the difference between these two computer sciences so obviously it all narrows down to the subjects that each computer science has for example um computer science in the science faculty in the in the commerce faculty has economics has accounting statistics and all other commerce related subjects whereas um whereas the computer science that is found in the science faculty has um subjects like maths computer science and other science related um what's it science related um subjects okay <clears throat> And also the second um, difference that I actually noticed was that um, with commerce um, computer science, you don't need to do um, physics or you don't need to do science um, science subjects in high school. For example, you might have been in commerce, then you would like you are doing um, the one in commerce faculty. And then if you did science in, you can apply either in commerce faculty or in science faculty. I hope I, you, you understand what I'm saying. So since I'm familiar with computer science that is found in the science faculty, I'll be focusing it, on it more, right? So the first thing um, about the computer science that is found in the science faculty is that you actually need two majors in order to graduate. So you need um, major, you need to major in computer science and something else. So I chose business computing as my second major, but initially I chose physics, but I'm going to get into why I didn't end up choosing physics, right? Um, okay, let's get into it. So there are majors that are offered in the science faculty. So if you're doing um, computer science in the science faculty, your second major should also be in the science faculty. So, um, for example, there are different there are different kinds of majors that are found in the science faculty, like statistics, like maths, um, maths, astrophysics, computer engineering, which mostly people people mostly choose choose it as their second major is business computing which is, which i'm doing there's a lot man you can actually just choose biology also you can choose as your second major to graduate so you're actually doing two majors when you are um doing computer science okay i want us to just recap so that i see we understand each other okay so we are planning right we know that we chose computer science from which faculty either the commerce faculty or um in the science faculty so let's say you choose the one from the science faculty so from the science faculty you know that you need two majors so you're going to choose um computer science and the second major now there are various um second majors that you can actually choose from in the science faculty right so you can choose physics you can choose math statistics biology um computer engineering business computing all those um are found in the science faculty which guys you can actually look up in the UCT handbook for 2022, 2020, or whichever year you are actually applying to, right? Our next step now is application process. So now we are looking at the requirements, we are looking at points, you know, we are looking at everything. 
okay so firstly we know that we are doing in high school you are either doing commerce related subjects or you're actually doing um science related subjects right no humanities and also it is a must that you do um maths pure maths pure maths it's a must that you do pure maths okay so let's get into the points shall we okay now when it comes to points computer science the minimum requirement is 36 points excluding lo okay um how do we actually calculate that we know that in our report our levels end at level seven so um level level seven means seven point level six means six point level five means five points guys i think in lo you actually did that i'm not gonna go straight into it you know in lo you actually did that we calculated how to calculate points for um for varsity or anything and also in university of cape town if you got like 90 like maybe you got 90 for english or 90 for maths that is not going to be 90 and above 90 to 200 is actually not level 7 it's level 8 so you got eight points right here so you need a minimum of 36 points right um so in order to qualify to get into this program and pure maths you need um 50 percent in english and a, uh, sorry a b in english and 50 percent in maths so those are like the minimum requirements in order for you to apply in order for you to qualify for this um major or degree right the application is actually quite simple you just search in your google search um what's this you just search in google on google um, UCTA online applications for 20 something the year that you're actually applying for um, and then they just come up to fill in the forms yeah it's very easy and you can go to your nearest cafe they'll help you or go to your teachers they actually could help you to apply if you have problems with applying that's another video that I can actually do but I'm just browsing on top so that you know I don't bore you guys <laughs> yeah okay so we are now done with application we're done with planning now we're moving on to my advice when it comes to registration and application okay like guys i told you i was supposed to major in computer science and physics but i ended up choosing computer science and business computing now why did i do that so okay my first advice is do not listen to the noise about the degree you've chosen okay so in order to do physics in university you have to do arguably the hardest maths in university first le first year level right which is mem 1000 w which is a whole year course apparently guys oh while i was applying people were like yo don't choose ma'am don't choose that maths yo that maths most people failed it okay yeah the stats say so but i mean you know i could have tried something you know so i listened to the noise i was like am i sure that i want to do maths am i sure that i want to go through you know that trauma am i sure that you know i want to so i was like you know what physics bye bye i don't want to do maths so i have to sacrifice physics guys i loved physics in high school you know it was it was my subject it was my subject but i mean i didn't end up i ended up not choosing it because of maths so that's my advice do not listen to the noise but do what you want to do uh, with your degree my second advice is electives so when ch choose when choosing electives now you might be wondering what are electives so electives are like subjects that students choose just to get the minimum points in order to graduate so these subjects can be chosen from different faculties so it doesn't have to be science related subjects it can be subjects from the humanities can be subjects from commerce faculty engineering whatever um faculty you choose you know it doesn't have to be in the science faculty so my advice is to choose what you like and what you think you would enjoy don't choose something that's going to be very difficult because i mean you'll be focusing more on electives than to focus on your major so just focus or choose something that you will enjoy but it mustn't be very difficult and time consuming 
I'm not saying anything, but I'll say choose something from the humanities. I'm not implying anything, but I mean, choose something from the humanities. I mean, they're easy, guys. Come on. Okay, no, they're not easy. No, 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 no. They're not easy. They're very time consuming, the notes and all. But I mean, or choose maths if you like maths, or choose physics, whatever. But I'll, my advice is just choose something easy. I don't know what's easy. You might find something easy that's difficult to me. But choose something that you think it might be easy for you. Okay, I'm talking too much. But that's my advice, guys. That um, do not listen to the noise and choose electives very carefully. They're just bonus points. They do not add on to your um, degree. They just You just need them for bonus points. Yeah. Another thing, guys, um, do not worry too much. You are assigned to a student advisor, and they are orientation. They are orientation leaders that will actually help you to set up your curriculum, to help you, you know, get ready for varsity, to set up your timetable, to set up your portal, make you understand. And also, there are programs like teaching you Excel, teaching you how to print, how teaching you how to access the internet. You know, there are things that the university offers because they do understand the level of inequality in South Africa. So don't worry too much about it. You'll, you'll be fine. I was fine. If, if I made it, then you can also make it. Alright, okay, guys, that's it with this with this week's video. I hope it was very informative. I hope you are now understand how to choose your subjects, which faculty, the points, and all, all of the subjects that decided to come back when I'm closing. But anyways, <laughs> the beginning at the end. Anyways, um, yeah, if you like, if you if would like me to go through um the application process more thoroughly just say so in the comment section i'll be happy to do it yeah i hope it was very informative and i hope to see you in uct if you see me and i see you on campus just say hala you know it'll be nice yeah bye <laughs>